Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bubloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are taking a look at the. I, I think this is the final Pan Asian copy paste ship we're going to be seeing. If you can hear a cat meowing in the background, that is uh, Bismarck, my cat. Don't worry about him. He's, he's just exploring a new place and uh, he wants snacks. So yeah, but but he's he, he can't get fed. Anyways, this is the Lushun, and um, it is a tier ten Pan Asian destroyer that. I'm pretty sure it's a straight copy, at least the ship, from the Nustrashimi. And um, the Nustrashimi is a tier 9 premium DD, the Soviet line, and uh, it has a ton of skills, and that's this thing does as well. So let's just get into it. I took the advanced AT shell here, and um, I decided not to go for torpedo tubes because I think these guns are going to be pretty decent. I have tried one game, as you can see, and the guns are very decent. The caliber is... 130 millimeters and they have a sub two second reload which is pretty darn good and a pretty high fire chance as well your torpedoes go almost 10 kilometers and they are of course deep water torpedoes as this is a pan asian ship and here we have the skills not that crazy skills when it comes to you know the, the you get a speed boost sonar and dfa you get deep water torpedoes and then you get the saint vincent heal so you get this thing the the, the one that recovers 75 percent more the super heal, the, the absolute print a new ship heal. And not just that, you get an extra one, so you have three. That is pretty crazy. That's the trade-off you get for not having a smoke. But this is a pretty interesting ship, and this is actually pretty funny. And even though it is a copy-paste of the Nustra Shimmy, this thing, I think, is a much more interesting, unique type of ship. It's a DD that does not get a smoke, but it gets the most insane heal in the game that any destroyer would love to have. I mean, Druid cannot match this. For the camo, we are actually using historical camo because I, I really like the look of this. I think it's a great looking camo and you know me, I'm a sucker for the, the, the realistic looking ones. But this one is the other one, the war paint. It's a beautiful camo as well. And as you can see, it gives you some different characteristics. You get better main battery firing range. So quite possibly this is the better camo really depends on what you are playing for. I, I did play this more as a gunboat, so I should probably use this camo, but like I said, I enjoy this. You get more torpedo range with this in speed, so yeah, it's, it's not a bad trade. For the equipment, I am running reload mod, propulsion, and concealment. The concealment on this thing is pretty gnarly. You go down to 5.6, um, not the best in the game, but it's definitely up there with some of the other ones, Shimakaze, Daring, I think even Holland too. But that is the build I'm running for the commander. I just have a normal commander. I took the guy who was supposed to be on Baji. The, the the pig commander. I mean, he looks pretty cool. He's a pig. So, um, yeah. I guess that's why we use him. This is the skill setup. Of course, we're specking into the super healing. Get them even better. Since we have three of them, and not just two. And, uh, yeah. APCS. Giant Hunter. It's a pretty standard build. There's not much else to say than that. Let's just go in and find a game and uh, let's see if we can do some damage with this thing. All right, there we go. Look at that, a beautiful game. We actually have players compared to some of the other videos I did earlier to this week. We just got pretty boring games, but this looks interesting and there's some DDs as well. Now, there is Ebenezia. He could really mess us up because you, you, we don't have a smoke, right? So we need to be really careful of how we approach this fight. It is a pretty long ship, as you can see. The Neustra Shimmy here, or oh, sorry, the Lushun and the Neustra Shimmy, they are both pretty pretty massive boats. Um, so let's start out with the AP here. We only have two speed boosts, so I'm going to save them. But the thing here goes 37 knots. That's pretty decent also. And we have four sonars and four DFA. I mean, we have enough of that. I don't really, need, I don't really know if the AP is going to... Sorry, AP, the AA is going to do good. It's a destroyer, right? So... Don't get your hopes up. Let's see how the spread is with these torpedoes. Very tight, very nice. Now, if I did not have deep water torpedoes, because they have so much range, I would have shot them into the cap now. But since we can't hit any DDs, there's no reason to do that. I think we're going to go flank right, and maybe we'll see a bot or something. Get some free HE damage. All right, let's push this way. Zero concealment is pretty decent. We have good gun range, just under 10 kilometers. I don't know, this could be an interesting boat, even though it's copy-paste. 
what is really what really interests me with this thing is the fact that you have so much healing and you don't even have to kind of you don't have to worry about using one of your heals because you have you know the, in the normal amount you don't just have two you have more than enough and that's a gk pushing this is the perfect target for us and we just need to start farming him already that's a fire instantly remember we have almost a five percent fire chance with this 4.28 i believe with the with the elite bonus I don't know what we should do with the torp. Let's let's just shoot the torp straight this way. A 54 second torpedo reload. That is really good. And we don't have a torpedo reload booster like many of the other Pan Asian ships do. But we really don't need it when it's only a 54 second reload. There we go. That's the permafire we were hoping for. Another one. Maybe a flood as well. That would be really nice. There we go. Okay. We are rocking and rolling. Let's use the speed boost to get around the island. Maybe we can flank these guys. It took out that Montana bot. Huge. Can get some points here. Oh, let's check if they're 360 these turrets. Yeah, they are. At least the, the rear one is. Okay, so we have a Yodo pushing up. Let's use our sonar. So we can almost imagine he's going to use the torpedoes here. Let's see... Let's just send the torpedoes that way. All right, let's use our first heal. Look at that, guys. Just look at the insane amount of healing. Even if they hit me, I still have more healing to do. This is pretty much just to discourage anyone from trying to look at me. Like, if you look at me, I just heal up. And we're going to use this guy's smoke here. I think that's a good call. Right, let's push in. See, we uh, we might kill that GK right there. This a Oh, that's a Venezia. Yeah, we took out the GK. 50,000 damage. Let's uh, move over here and take out those DDs. Capture the middle point. Hit the Sejong here. Yeah, you see this AP, guys. 130 millimeters. They do pen stuff, especially Sejongs. We could easily rip some damage out of this guy. Let's focus on this uh, Osterjutland instead. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous guns. I love them. And there he is. Beautiful. Oh, there's also a set... F <laughs> okay, this guy's name. I was just about to read his name out loud, but we, I, I don't think we could do that. I have to watch out really, really bad here. There's a Venezia somewhere to my right. Actually, I'm showing broadside to him, so maybe I should turn my boat. You can see the great dispersion, the great angles on the guns. We can actually angle pretty hard and we still get to fire our, you know, guns off, both of them. Alright, we have to chase this set 46 and run away from the Venezia because he just took out something, so. I don't think he's got torpedoes, so I'm just gonna rush him down. All right, there we go. That is one dead set 46. And we actually have the caps. So I'm feeling pretty confident we might just win this game. So let's see if we can chase the 100k. Get that that high damage number to farm the views, people. That's what it's all about. You know what? I'm just going to chuck some torpedoes there. He, he might run into them. They're not in range currently, but... At the speed of a net can go, he might just be in the range of that once they are about to run out. I kind of want to take a hit from the Venezia. I'm not gonna lie. Would be kind of funny. Let's see. Oh, fuck. There's a Sejong as well. Did not see the Sejong. Let's heal already so we don't just get one shot. Yeah, look at that. We're, we're, we're gonna go back to half HP, boys. Let's not die to this Sejong here. Alright, we got the Venezia Salvo coming in right there. Nice, we dodged it. We have to watch out for the island here. We don't want to get beached. We actually have to just run away here. Um, Venezia could definitely destroy us with one, one lucky shot. Beautiful. 
We got out of dodge, okay. I'm gonna take a shot here. At this Sejong, I wanna see if we can help take him out. Oh my god, that is so close. That is so close, bro. We still have 30 seconds on the heal. Now, you have to remember, guys, the heal... Like, the, the cooldown on it is massive. So... Be aware of that. We have to wait still 26 seconds for this thing to be done. And I'm just gonna wait and not detect it by this Venezia here. Alright, we're undetected finally. There's still a cruiser out there somewhere. Oh, I don't know... Where it is? It didn't shoot at us, so... Come on. Hey, okay, we didn't get 100k, we got a 96, but hey, this thing is pretty fun. I, I will say I enjoyed this. Let's look at the healing again. Yeah, that's half our HP, guys. Just look at that. This thing is a monster. This thing can brawl. Kabarovs, this thing can brawl. Set 42, set, set 52s. I think the only th thing it, it's going to have troubles, you know, dealing with is something like a Rigolo or a Clibair that has a rapid reload because you don't have that insane burst. You just have sustained AP damage that does really well. So it didn't turn out to be a 100,000 damage, but still a, an interesting game, a good gameplay. And you guys could see how powerful those heals were. We got hit by that Venezia and we were back to full HP, uh, almost, oh, sorry, not full, half HP. But still, very powerful, and on honestly, if, if it was me, I would rather have this than a smoke, because even in a smoke, if you just look at the tracers, you can hit that guy who's hiding in there. Not, it's not that difficult, but a super heal like this, you could think, okay, I have him, I have him, I can, I, I'm gonna look away, somebody else is gonna take him out. And if he just presses that heal button, once you look back at the ship and think, why is he not dead? Well, there you go, he's full HP again. So, this is probably one of the only Pan-Asian ships that I would say is actually recommended if you do like DDs and you do like, you know, tier 10 premiums. This this one ain't bad. It might be a copy of the new Strashimi, but it's... I would say it's better than the new Strashimi in many, many ways. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name has been Bubbly, aka Pabloon, and...